Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Guys, today we have a very, very special figure. The figure is incredible. It's the Mark 7 black and gold version. Guys, let me tell you something. The figure is outstanding. The figure immediately out of the box, it feels, obviously it's a die cast figure, but it feels like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're getting heavier, but this thing is massive. It weighs a ton. The paint application, guys, is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This thing pops. This thing shines. The Obviously, we, we're going to get all of the accessories that we've gotten for every single Mark 7 so far. And I believe we got a couple different ones that I haven't noticed. Um, I My last Mark 7, I believe, was the D100. And I have him just very basic. I didn't put anything on him. I didn't put any of the battle anything. It's just literally a clean uh, look to that specific figure. So I didn't go through a lot of the accessories for that one. So I don't know if they're adding this, uh, you know, with all the new uh, diecast Iron Man or not. But I'm going to pretend like this is the very first time I'm getting this. Which to me, it is the very first time I'm seeing it. So let's get right into the figure, guys. As you can see, I got mommy and daddy. This is where the combination comes from, I believe. Uh, this is the uh, Stealth Mark Seven, and this is uh, the Shanghai exclusive uh, Gold Chrome Midas, so Mark Twenty One. Uh, this is plastic. This is plastic. This is diecast. So like I said, guys, let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to get started with the base because the base is worth mentioning. Um, first, as soon as you pick this up, it feels super cheap. Complete garbage, complete trash. It weighs nothing, right? Because obviously every time we get a different base, it's, more, it's usually a thicker plastic. This weighs nothing. But, guys, but. Look at the detail on that thing. So remember, this is the style that we're getting with the, the new Batman uh, figure, the new Flash. You know, the, Bat, the, the Batman figure from the Flash. The new Flash figures. Here's the C-type USB. Here's the power in the back. Um, but the point is that even though it feels like crap and very, very cheap, look how nice it looks. The gold paint here, I don't like. It looks very, very cheap. But as you can see, the light up function is very, very nice. But again, these bases are very, very cheap feeling at least. They weigh nothing. But as you can see, it's a light up uh, base. So let me shut that off. Let me show you guys the back. This is the button. So again, very basic, weighs nothing, but you saw how nice it looks. Um, so let's get right into the figure, guys. So a lot going on with the figure immediately. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys pretty much everything about the figure because it's actually worth mentioning. So let's start from the bottom. The joints, very, very tight. No complaints about the joints whatsoever, everywhere, literally everywhere. The shoulders, the thighs, everything, right? Also, the thigh pads, right? The panels. So this is obviously from the original Mark 7 from the Avengers, right? When he, the rockets come out of his thigh, right? So this one comes with three different sets. So that's one. The metallic set is another one. And it comes with the standard gold as well, as you can see. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. This is the, believe it or not, these these um uh gunmetal looking pieces look very, very nice on the figure, but because it's supposed to be black and gold, I'm not putting them on. Number two, guys. Magnetic chest plate. Again, I don't know if this is new with the Mark, uh, with the D100, but I'm just finding this out. So look at that magnetic. It's not even on properly. See, magnetic. So obviously you gotta push it in properly and make it fit in because it still has tabs. Uh, the 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 chest plate has pa uh, tabs, and then obviously the the actual chest has the insert for those uh tabs but look at that guys beautiful obviously these are removable but they didn't give you anything extra or anything different like the uh other mark sevens in the past um here are the laser beam attachments 
beautiful look how badass that looks and obviously the rocket you don't have to do all this but i i for this one for whatever reason um because it's black i think i want to have him all badass out so this is why i put like everything on him uh let me show you guys the laser effects we've gotten these plenty of times already i never used them because they take up a lot of space if you have them on so i never i've never put them on anything i just this is the very first time or second time that i've taken pictures with it also guys uh one complaint so this is the blaster hand right we get them all the time these don't bend these fingers don't bend um and also the fisted hands as well your standard comes on the figure right and then also this is my complaint where is it this one so this is the articulated hand right here as you can see the joints on the fingers right the problem is it comes with this piece here this long piece so that does not allow you to use it with these attachments as you can see this one as you can see is half cut so it's not the full it's not the full piece it's only half so this is why this all works so i can't use the articulated fingers on the figure if i want to have this look which is annoying i don't know why they would do this um but we can't so that's why i have them with the fisted hands um that fit with the attachments because that's the only way it's going to work also guys these pieces here right flimsy supposed to pop out and stay and stay and not fully pop out right but they do see look at that so then you got to keep putting them back in so i don't know i don't know if i'm going to leave them out see this one's perfectly fine goes right in no problem but it's very scary because they feel like, you know, they feel cheap. They feel like they may break. So, see, I'm trying to push it in and it's giving me a hard time and I don't want to break it. So, again, this shouldn't be happening. I don't know why this is happening, but see, here we go. Now we, I was able to push it. Again, this has never happened with any Mark 7, you know, to me. See, I was trying to mess with this right here, this flap here. That now, see, it kind of pushed it all the way in. Now it's stuck in there. So that's annoying. I don't know why that's happening. Also, th this here, the rocket launchers from the shoulders. Um, you know, look how they're they're moving around. Even if I push them down, you know, kind of flimsy a little bit. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? But I don't know if this is happening all the time. Like I said, I didn't use it for my for my D100, so I don't know if that's how they're doing things now with the Mark Sevens. Because again, this is a Mark Seven. Um, also guys, a lot of articulation, the articulation is incredible, very, very good, as you just saw, the shoulders, look at that, look how they come all the way up, um, the rotation is a lot smoother than ever before, at least for me, you know, you could go up and down with the arm, very nice, guys, the figure is beautiful, 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 the, the, the chrome paint, the gold chrome paint, Beautiful shine, gorgeous, gorgeous figure, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm gonna leave it just like this, just fully ready, battle ready. Um, like I said, because my D100 wasn't uh, used up at all. It was just literally I took it out of the box and I displayed it. Even, even without the uh, the base, that fancy base that it, that it had, I just a plain black oval base, and that's it. Just because it's such a classy red and, and, and metallic piece, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna like overdo it with it. And because it was a celebration piece, I was like, you know what, I don't need it. But look at that, guys! Beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, I give this a ten all day. Like I said, the weight, the articulation, I feel like it's getting better and better. Uh, all the accessories, everything. Again, like you guys know my complaints. You know, the articulated hands should have been able to be used on any uh, uh, way of displaying the figure. Um, so I don't know whether, you know, why, why they would not allow us to do that. Uh, like I said, here is the, the blaster hands or repulsor hands. If you want to pose them like he's, you know, shooting something out of the hand, this is it, but I'm not going to use that because I don't need that look. Very happy with the figure, guys. So as always guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.